Greg O'Donnell 0 for 3 tonight, including a missed chip shot. Radabaugh's in motion. They'll try to dump it down to Jared. He didn't want that fall. He loses it late as Cariel Brooks and Wesley Brandon anticipated and understood exactly what Chris Bonner was trying to do. Boy, in terms of the passing game, East-West hasn't been a whole lot there tonight. Obviously, the success has come down the field here in the second half. That time, Adam State able to stretch it out to the far side and nothing doing on that reception. Adam State University has some athletes in their secondary. This defense has been flying around the field all night. To the 50, to the 45, a ferocious step on the Koshan Reed. You would think they might open up the screen game on third down. Now it's fourth and seven instead of a four. Thompson relocates to the left side of the line. They'll try another play action. Bonner, the oh. throwback. Knocked away. Cariel Brooks, don't you dare try to beat him. Now Cariel Brooks coming up with another huge play. He had one on the other end of the field earlier tonight. And now Brooks, a key stop on fourth down. And here we go. Inside of 13 minutes to go, Adam State with the ball and a chance to take the lead on the number two team of the country. You know, Cariel must feel like an outfielder for a ground ball pitcher. He, he never sees throws his way. He, he saw three last week with this medical red shirt year for Connor. Getting to play with his brother, now looking for a third down stop is Cariel Brooks. An enlightened play. Straight cold clock of Daniel Wise. Boy, Bonner had to step up in the pocket, fire a strike, but boy, look at the coverage by Adams State. Just a bang-bang play. And Cariel Brooks certainly has been the story in the back end of this Adams State defense here tonight. What more do NFL scouts need to see to give Cariel a chance at the next level? 